So less than an hour from now at 630, President Biden is going to be holding a news conference. Many say will be critical for his campaign. Now we want to get some expert insight into this high stakes that we all have. And for that, let's bring in Richard Zuba, our pollster and the CEO of Glenn Graff Group. Hey there, Richard. Thanks for joining us. So, Richard, I got to ask you this. We know that with such high stakes, especially after the last debate, a lot of eyes are going to be on this debate. Are you surprised? This uh, news conference, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. The last several weeks since the debate have certainly focused a lot of attention on Joe Biden. But I do think we need to remember that these, you know, how voters feel about Joe Biden has been baked into the numbers for several years now. This idea that he is too old has been showing up in our poll numbers for a darn long time. So this isn't you, which is why we're not seeing massive wholesale changes in the numbers right now in this race. Not seeing massive changes, but you're examining the polls. What are voters really saying they believe is at stake here, Richard? Well, I think what they're saying is, uh, you know, we have two different candidates in this race. Uh, for Joe Biden, they've been telling us for some time they just think he's too old. Mm -hmm. uh, but Donald Trump faces his own issues also, and particularly uh, in regard to his convictions. Uh, voters are very leery of his threats to democracy, particularly independent and centrist voters. And he's having a problem with Nikki Haley voters on his side of the aisle. So both of these candidates are weak right now in terms of getting their coalitions on board. Joe Biden really has, you know, faces the country tonight in this press conference, and he can't afford any mistakes if he hopes to stay on the ballot. And Richard, are the voters giving you any perspective on what they believe President Biden will have to show them or even say during this press conference? Well, I don't think there's any one thing he can say. I think this is a longer term effort for Joe Biden, uh, if he intends to stay as the nominee, to show that he is up for it, to show that he can coherently deliver a message uh, against Donald Trump and lay out the reasons for not supporting Donald Trump, but supporting Joe Biden. That's what we haven't seen. That's, that was the damage from that debate, was the message was not coherent, it was not clear, and it confirmed much of what voters already thought that Joe Biden was too old for the role. Yeah. And Richard, you mentioned former President Trump as well. And with tonight's news conference, you know, there's already people lining up to push President Biden out the door. And while some Democratic Party members still say that they have his back, and just as some GOP members say they have uh, former President Trump's back, is all this back and forth confusing voters at all? What's the perspective there? You know, one thing we need to remember in this presidential race is nothing on either side is normal politics. This is a very unusual race. And it's made more unusual, frankly, by the fact that we don't just have two candidates on the ballot. We have uh, Kennedy running as the natural law party candidate. And frankly, he is going to be a factor in the state of Michigan as people who don't like either candidates consider their options. And we're seeing a lot of those centrist consider Kennedy in the polling right now. Richard, as always, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I guess we'll all be waiting and watching to see what happens tonight. We will.